I'm Canadian, eh? I want to say I'm a conservative. At present, I probably am. Sadly, I was liberal most of my life, even though I never really ever voted. In my heart, I just always was rooting for the little red guy, right? So I'm gonna go grab a jar of pumpkin. You didn't see this. Don't tell Dom you did. I I'll, I'll tell him that you lied, even if he has proof and evidence. It's vegetable baked pie with raw egg yolks on top. Do you want to know how to make it? And would you like uh, 20 or 30 different possible ideas? What you can do with this? With leftovers in your kitchen? Stay tuned. So this is just a we're in the kitchen with Jude video. And it's kind of like a semi-live because I don't know how to do live. <laughs> I have a cast iron pot skillet on my stove on high heat. I want it to get really hot like would be at 450 in the oven. Fire Movie Montage by Clara Darko. Go check her out. I was thinking I was going to pan fry some sourdough cornbread. Then I was thinking I gotta bake bread tonight, so why don't I just make some sourdough bread and really I don't have to bake tonight. I could wait and then I could give tonight the sourdough bread all night to rise and then bake them both in the morning. Do you make and edit videos? Have you ever got to that point where it's like in editing, it's like, oh, I forgot to do that. Because I have this other beautiful loaf of bread right now. This is that moment. It's Jude's Ezekiel sourdough bread recipe. Yeah, I'll show you that in a minute. I haven't made the video yet. I mean, I made it, but I, I don't have it edited yet. So come back maybe? I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but it, right now, I have these potatoes and carrots and cauliflower and broccoli and mm, I think I just need to add some onion and garlic to this. I got me some real big garlic. I don't know, maybe about six of these? <laughs> but before I add the eggs, I want to put some oil in my hot, hot pan. Many people in Atlantic Canada and in rural communities across the country rely on home heating oil. I hope it's not like avocado or like olive oil or like MCT oil or coconut oil. Now switching to an electric heat pump from oil heating, um, which is very vulnerable to volatile global market prices. Let me be very clear can save people a lot of money. And then... So that we can give everyone um, the time and ability um, to switch to heat pumps. Throw all my minced garlic into it and stir it up really quick and then throw the vegetables in even quicker. Because many people in Atlantic Canada Arrgh. and in rural communities across the country Have you ever been to see, Billy? rely on home heating oil. I want the garlic to sort of sear, to get that hint of a char taste. Arr mm -hmm. Can save people a lot of money. Trust me, it's good. Can save people a lot of money. Don't, don't trust me, don't. Now switching to an electric heat pump from oil heating. Because your taste buds might be very different than mine. Can save people a lot of money. Because your taste buds might be very different than mine. Can save people a lot of money. Trust your own, trust your own, trust your own. Can you see what I'm doing? See, the smoke, hence a fan. I'm going to do a blend of avocado. Switching to an electric heat pump from oil heating. Because all these oils have different properties. So like, why wouldn't I want to get that into my meal? Can save people a lot of money. And now some vegetable oil. Can save people a lot of money. I'm just going to let that heat. Yeah, there's about a good quarter to a half cup in. Can you see how my stove is warped? It's all just going that away. Mm -hmm. Can save people a lot of money. Now we need a little red hot chili pepper. Hey, oh, listen what I say. Oh. I, I could have added more, but we have some hot paprika in this, and we also have smoked and Hungarian and regular and I think sweet paprika, if I'm not mistaken. So it's a nice one. This is what you do when you live with somebody that doesn't eat red meat or white meat. They only eat dairy, eggs, and fish. Called a pescatarian. He is a weird manifestation of a vegetarian. Now, I just want to get my finger in there. 
There's no salt at all. I already know that. I need to salt this like crazy. Salt is what brings out the flavor. I don't have hypertension. I hope to God Dome doesn't. Otherwise, I'm killing him slowly. But you know, he's a guy. He won't go to the doctors. What am I supposed to do? We got us some whole black peppercorns. I think some whole black peppercorns. Now we're just gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna turn on low. Because those peppercorns need to soak up. But I also think I'm gonna add a little bit of chaga. I have blend chaga and turkey tail. My throat's hurting, so I gotta get me some chaga into me. I'm only gonna add about, mm, about that much. Oh, I need it. Oh, Ooh, look at that. I might have to add a little more. Might have to, yeah, I think I better. That's why I took some out for myself. Pretty good chance. I might even thicken this as a gravy, yes. Yeah, you can make chaga. And if you mix any of your mushroom blends, you can make it as a gravy. Can you hear me now? It does, not that look amazing? Imagine if you're like me and you eat red meat and like some wild venison or some bear stew or goat stew, duck stew, turkey stew. You could put some beans in here and make it like a bean stew. You could throw some corn in here and make it a bean and corn stew. You could put some tomatoes in here and add some pasta and you've got like a pasta stew. I'm not just a pretty face people. I mean, I'm barely that, but you know, I'm a whole lot more too. So one dish right there and I could like ream off a whole bunch of different dishes for you. List your ingredients and say now, what else is possible? If you were a pizza, what would you be? Would you be the toppings or would I turn you into the crust? A potato carrot crusted pizza, I'm all over that, especially if you put salami and bacon and some sh pulled pork or maybe some pulled beef. I, I like a little variety of meat, different types of meat on my pizza. Yeah. I have some butternut and acorn squash. That's going in there. And I have some pumpkin no salt that's going in there this little middle thing goes under and then these go on top and then make sure it's secure on the ground and just that's it quick little just quick little maybe on the other side too and did it bend it did it no that means it's reusable so for every reusable this becomes less and less expensive like less money that I paid for it because it's saving me money now. And by the time I've got enough of these, this is free. And then if I have more of this, this was a donation, <laughs> which is even better. <laughs> you know what else you can do with this? Save the juices from all your canned, especially the ones that don't have salt, but even if they have salt, it's okay. And use that to make your sourdough bread or any bread or like soups and stews or anywhere where you need a little extra water. So, if you got lots and lots and lots of this, all you do is just put it all in a jar and can it again. And then you, it's shelf stable for like forever until you open it again and again and just keep heating it up. So I think I'm just gonna add like, okay, all of it, all of it. Oh, I gotta put the other one in here now. Mm -hmm. And you're at home. Yeah. You're available. Yeah, usually, usually I was. <laughs> What I'm doing with the eggs is kind of what you would do if you were trying to create kind of stir-fried rice. Except for you'd probably have the egg yolk in this as well. So I want to do like a stir-fried effect with the egg so you don't really see the egg white at all. And it cooks the white, but I want the yolk to be raw. Medium raw. And I want to take the cheese and I want to smear it on top. Now if you want, you could add cinnamon to this you want to make it more and even a little bit of sugar if you want to make it a bit sweeter. Overflow. Voila. Oh, oh goodness. Wow, 
Gooey, gooey goodness. Should have made the cornbread, but even just like this. <laughs> mm-hmm.